questions from onthetopstep.com. I'm excited today because Shelby Miller did a good job mixing it up. He went seven innings against the Braves, giving up one earned run. The Cardinals won the game. He did very well by throwing 76 mile per hour curveballs and cutters from 84 to 87 and then a lot of four seamers in the low 90s, 92, 93. Lance Lynn gets away with throwing a majority of fastballs. How does he do it? Well, he has pretty much mastered the two-seamer and the four-seamer. He throws very hard, and he has a secondary offering, a cutter or slider that gets things done for him in a positive sense. Shelby has been reduced lately to one pitch. Sometimes you think this is on purpose. This is what he wants to do. It's not going to work. What he did today was he was throwing 76 mile per hour curveballs. He was throwing cutters anywhere from 84 to 87. He has committed to them, at least today he did. And this is how he can do it. He has to have at least one secondary pitch that he can rely on and throw in pretty much any count he would like. I saw him give up home runs on fastballs to Carlos Gomez and Mark Reynolds in late April. They were on fastballs. He was throwing almost exclusively fastballs. He threw a couple curves, a couple changeups. They were all waste pitches. He did not have his heart in it. As long as he has his heart in these secondary pitches, the slider, I call it a slider, and at bat is calling it a cutter, and this curve, this mid-range curve he was throwing today, Shelby Miller can start to try to fulfill his potential. I'm Bob Hudgens. That's on the top step.